Hi, this is Chaitanya Maladi from ENH iSecure Private Limited. As part of this demonstration, we will be looking at the credential cycling feature of Identity IQ, customized to work with the Tychotic Secret Server. Let us start by understanding the use case. Identity IQ needs to connect to a target system the credential for which is stored as a privileged credential on Tychotic. So, Identity IQ must retrieve the credential from Tychotic in order to connect to the target system. On the screen, we can see the application configuration to connect to a MySQL server using a custom connector. This takes the details of host port, username and password that is stored encrypted. If we test connection, we can see that we are able to connect to the target. On the screen, we can see that on Thycotic, the same MySQL server root account has been configured as a privileged credential. If Thycotic performs a change on the password, Identity IQ will not be able to connect. This can be overcome by a credential configuration. Let us go ahead and import the Thycotic credential configuration XML and understand how it will work. From the object browser, under the configuration section, we can see a new credential configuration object is created. The Credential Manager is configured to use a Thycotic Credential Manager class that was developed and imported into the Identity IQ libraries. This takes the Thycotic host, the user account and the password which will be used by Identity IQ to retrieve credentials from Thycotic. We also need to provide the name of the application being configured and the attribute where the credential should be placed. The secret ID or of Thycotic which stores this credential also needs to be provided. Going back to the application configuration, upon refreshing the page, we will be able to see that credential cycling is enabled. This means that the credential will be retrieved from Thycotic and can be removed from the application configuration. If we run a test connection, the connection is still successful. Now let us initiate a password change on this account from the Thycotic secret server. Here we see that the change is successful. If we try to test the connection from Identity IQ, it is still successful as the password is retrieved from Thycotic itself. This concludes the demonstration of credential cycling from the Thycotic secret server. Thank you.